What's up guys, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make Daryl Dixon's actual like feather fletchings. Um, I mean, they're not really the same as Daryl's. This is kind of like my version of it. Um, the like First of all, like mine are turkey feathers. I'm not really sure what Daryl's is. And I always keep a real fletching on there because I'm lazy. So yeah, um, that's pretty much the only difference between mine and Daryl's. Like I usually keep a real one and they are different colors. Um, the reason I keep a real one is because I'm lazy, first of all, and because these feathers are like really, well, feather fletchings in general, they get messed up so easily. So I don't really like having all of the fletchings feathered. I always keep a real one because of that, because I'm like really lazy. And like, if you're going to put this in your crossbow, like you do not want the bottom one to like be all messed up going inside the barrel, inside the rail. So that's like why I always keep a real one. But anyway... Um, yeah, what you will need for this is, alright guys, so these are the things you are going to need, and first of all, I got to tell you I'm not a big fan of feather fletchings, like I don't like them, I don't really use them, these are just literally for looks, and um, yeah, but Daryl himself did inspire me to make feather fletchings, and mostly Undead Survivor, because if it wasn't because of them, I probably wouldn't have tried it myself. And yeah, shout out to One Dead Survivor. Go subscribe to him. And these are the things you are gonna need. You need a um, turkey feather. I find turkey feathers to be the best because they're a bit more durable. And you need a sanding block or sanding paper. You need a razor, some scissors to cut it up. And these two things, I'll put the link in the description. This is fletching tape, and this is a feathering fletching clamp. Um, these two things are like the main key for this. Like this is what makes it so easy. And it really like just saves a lot of time and you can use glue some super glue or something But this actually works way better than how I thought it would I didn't think tape would work this good But this one does work really good for fletchings and anyway, so the first thing you're gonna need is Obviously a bolt or an arrow or whatever. So I'm gonna be taking off the fletchings off this old one and the razor is so you could take off your old fletchings and you want to make sure you take every single thing off because, like, you could just rip it off. But, like, make sure you take every single, like, little piece off. And I'll be right back once I'm done. Alright, guys, so I took off the blue fletchings. I did leave a real one because I like having the odd color in the bottom, like, with an actual real fletching. Just so it won't get messed up. And um, anyway, the first thing you're going to need to do now is split this feather in half. And... With your razor, what you're gonna do, let me zoom in. This is pretty hard, you gotta be gentle with this. And um, first I'm gonna cut it from the bottom. And you do want really sharp scissors. <laughs> and from the middle right here, you're gonna get your razor and try to split it in half. So, and be careful, you do not wanna cut yourself. Cause like right now I'm freaking pointing the freaking knife towards my freaking thumb. <laughs> Right now, I'm pretty much like just um, moving the feather towards that way to make it faster. I would not recommend doing that because it's dangerous. You could cut yourself. And now, what I'm going to do right here is point it the other way. And hopefully, it comes out good. Um, and a lot of people... Oh, that's like actually really perfect. A lot of people would recommend using one fletching per like side per feather. But I just like... I'm just gonna make four out of these because I don't know I don't really care but anyway since this is a pretty big feather let me zoom out a little bit since this is a pretty big feather I'm gonna make this feather into two and there we go oh yeah you do want to be careful with how you cut it because if you want to make this like that pointy look that goes like that you just want to be cutting the top piece you do not want to be cutting it straight so the second step now is what I do is I usually cut the fletching or the feather the same size as the real one. So I think these are like 4 inch fletchings or 3. I'm not, I don't even know. But let's see. I'm going to cut it the same size as it. And there we go. And now this is optional. You can cut the fletching into the shape you want now. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I usually start like this and then make my way towards the bottom. And, like, I usually don't cut it perfect. I usually, like, cut it perfect, like, at the end, once they're already attached to the bolt. So, like, right now, I'm just doing kind of, like, a sloppy copy of it. 
And yeah, so there it is. And now what you want to do is you want to get your clamp. And with this clamp, all you do is you clamp it on like that. And you put it from, you want to get every single feather. All right, so as you can see, it's clamped in. And now what you do is you sand this part like crazy. You want to make it as thin as possible, but not too thin. And that's what I'm going to be doing right now, but I'm going to be doing this outside. All right, guys, so there we go. Um, you do not have to make it that thin. All I do is I just make it straight enough to like where you could actually get some grip on it with the tape or the glue. And now what you have to do is probably the hardest part. You get your clamp, first of all, you clamp it back in and make sure you get every single feather. And now what you do is you get out the fletching tape. So this is pretty much like double sided tape. So I'm going to cut off a piece right now to make it easier. And let me set that aside. So what you do now is you have to put some of it over the, the actual feather. And now you put it in the middle of it and make sure it's like even. Try to get it right in the middle. And then once you have it done, you get out a little piece. I usually cut it like a little bit over where the actual feather is. And you can take this off. This is junk. And yeah, just make sure it's really tight on there. Alright, so now what you do is you pretty much like try to make it stick to the plastic piece. So you could get a grip on the actual like um, red tape and like try to make it separate. Alright guys, so I got the tape out. Now what you do is you peel it off like this. And you should have this glue, gluey tape stuck on there. And I forgot what part is the skinny part. Um, Alright, so it goes the other way. Alright, so now what you want to do is you want to keep it clamped. And try to remember what part the thick part is so you can remember which way it goes. And now what you do is you set it on here. And you want to make sure they're all even like you want to make sure like you put them on the evenly spot so like I would say that's about right here and there are tools you could use to make it like very very perfect but I don't really care so now what you do is you squeeze it on here and this little clamp right there does really help you like get it like really in a good spot like actually like squeeze it in there and yeah it's up to you how much you want it but there it is and um yeah it's pretty much it and it's like pretty snug like look at that like i don't want to like actually pull it. like i'm actually putting like a pretty lot of pressure right there and it's not coming off all right guys so now you get your other one as you can see i just peeled it off and you put it right about evenly where the other one is now you squeeze it like hell and now you let go. And it's backwards. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Alright guys, so I took it off. Let's try this one more time. Try to make it all even. And now let's squeeze it in like crazy. Alright, so there we go. So there it is. Now, at this point, this is where I like to cut the fletching. Like, the actual size now. And now, all that you do is you just cut it. And now I'll skip ahead. Alright guys, so I cut them up, and there it is. And that's pretty much it for this. So that's pretty much the tutorial. Um, you can change the Knox to Daryl's color if you want. You can wrap some string around it to enhance it a little bit. And that's actually what I did do to this one. That's actually why I did tear up the fletchings for this one. Because I did tie up fishing line at one point. But then I took it off because it didn't fit into the striker metal bolt sensor so yeah that's one thing that sucks but yeah i did take off the strings and yeah guys that's pretty much it for this video um a lot of people do recommend putting in some super glue on the tapes where the tape is like around there just to make it a bit more stronger and durable and i probably will do that after i'm done with this video but this is already like a 10 minute long video so i'm gonna cut this video short and yeah guys that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching and here's a quick shooting test with all my feathered bolts